Hey guys, it's Emily from J14, and I'm here with Monique Coleman. Yay. And you have a very exciting new project that you have coming up. Yeah. A docu-series that you created, and it's called Gimme Mo. Yes. And it sounds incredible. The trailer literally made me tear up at my desk. Oh, wow. <laughs> and can you just tell us a little bit about the topics and issues that it's going to focus on? It focuses on a wide range of topics. Um, I want to start by saying, you know, thank you so much for, for that, because um, everyone, High School Musical obviously gave me my platform, yeah. but this is something that I'm so passionate about because to me, being able to empower young people and talk about real things is just so critical in life right now. Mm -hmm. And so some of the topics we talk about are things, you know, more deeper topics like youth homelessness, sex trafficking, bullying, and then we also talk about things like social media, body image, self-esteem, pretty much anything that impacts young people. You mentioned that, you know, Disney and High School Musical gave you this platform throughout the past few years that you've been in the spotlight. You've really made it an effort to make that a part of your life, inspiring yeah. young people. So throughout the years, like how has your perspective changed? Have you learned anything since those High School Musical days that changed you? Definitely. I think what I learned was that fame was never going to fill me. It wasn't going to give me something that I needed. It wasn't going to take care of me. It wasn't going to make me like myself. It wasn't going to prevent me from experiencing pain and, and heartache. And that's why I made a commitment to give back to young people is because I know that they look at me and or look at all of us and they think I want to be that or I want to do that but really I want you to be you yeah. I want you to take up your own space in the world and know that it's really fulfilling your purpose mm -hmm. that actually is what it fills you yeah it, and seeing yourself in places I mean it's incredible we have a billboard in Times Square <laughs> and that is incredible but the more incredible thing to me than seeing it is how we got there mm -hmm. the fact that two friends were able to come together and create something and put it up there that's what's exciting about it when I see it I don't just see myself I see every person that has ever touched this that helped to get it to this point yeah and can you talk a little more about how it came to be how yeah it was inspired and who you worked with to make it happen? Absolutely. So funny enough, and I don't, I don't know if she actually knows this, but Elizabeth Berkeley, uh, you know Elizabeth Berkeley, Saved by the Bell. Yes, yes. <laughs> Elizabeth Berkeley, a long time ago, uh, she has an organization called Ask Elizabeth, mm -hmm. and she had reached out for me to write a quote for her uh, organization and her, I think, for her new book at yes. that time. And I wrote a quote, and I remember thinking to myself, "Gosh." I can't wait until someday I can do something like that. And I was just like, I wonder what I would call it. And I went through all these names and I was just, I was literally just being silly. And one of the names that came out of my mouth was Gimme Mo. And as Boom. it flew out, I was like, whoa, Gimme Mo. I feel like that's a thing. It has a ring to it. It has a ring. <laughs> and then from there I said, Gimme Mo, Gimme Mo, Gimme Mo what? Gimme, you know, and then I kept going. And long story short, every night I'd wake up and I would get a new piece of the idea. And I, back, this was in 2009. Wow. I wanted to create something. Yeah. I said, this is an online talk show to empower and inspire the next generation and to give back to young people. And then from there, it started as a charity, a 501c3. Yes. Then I traveled the world with the United Nations under the umbrella of Gimme Mo, showed the show all around the world. And you know, I think what's important about this story is that it started all that time ago and it succeeded and it failed. And it yeah. succeeded and it failed. And I picked it back up and let it go again. And now together with my production company, Motivated Productions, we were actually able to take it across the finish line and actually get it onto television. Yeah. But it's really more of of a vision and a movement mm -hmm. than it is a show. Yeah. The show is one version of it, but it really is a movement, a mm -hmm. movement about compassion and empathy for young people. Yeah, that's an incredible story. And it's cool how the name came first and then it grew from there. Yeah, it was it's just really like, cool. and you know what it was is I had this moment where I realized that what was that day? Like I asked myself, what day yeah. is the day that I have enough, mm -hmm. that I am enough? that I have enough to say. I think, you know, and I really want to say that to your audience, mm -hmm. you know? A lot of times you think, oh, well, after I achieve this or that, I can do this, or mm -hmm. I need this amount of money. All you need is the will. And can you just tell our viewers where they could tune in to Gimme Mo? Yes, so you can tune in to Gimme Mo starting October 3rd at 8 a.m. on Discovery Life. Great, thank you so much. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Thanks.